Well, what happens when we have rotation about a skew axis? What do I mean by that? I mean, instead of rotating about the X or Y or Z axis, we just pick some random direction, some skew direction, and we try to rotate the body about that. Ooh, man, that looks difficult. I mean, think about it. If I wanted to set up the moment of inertia about that axis, I would have to figure out the R squared and then integrate that. And oh man, the limits of integration on that, that would just be a nightmare. But look, for an arbitrary axis, we can use matrix algebra to help us. Let's say that I've got the moment of inertia uh, and I know the inertia matrix about some center with respect to some frame, if I take a unit vector, u, and I want to know the moment of inertia, i, u, about that axis, then I simply take u transpose i, u, or if you like, u dot i, u. I'm using that inertia matrix as the basis for a quadratic form. And that one inertia matrix encodes all possible moments about the center of your frame. But let's, let's think, right? If I chose u to be the i vector pointing along the x-axis, then i u, according to this formula, is just i x x, the moment about the x-axis. Of course, that, that, that quadratic form, it's pulling out that upper left-hand term. Okay, so that makes sense, but let's keep thinking. What happens if I had a round ball? Then the inertia matrix would just be a constant times the identity matrix because of all the symmetry. And then if I pick any unit vector u and I compute u dot i u, then what do I get? I get that constant times u dot u, but use a unit vector, so I get the constant moment of inertia that it has to be. Okay, so, so far this passes the sniff test. Everything makes sense. What happens when we look at a non-trivial example and rotate about a skew axis?